how much does sexual education influence the way we experience pleasure? Is it normal to have sexual fantasies? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Sexual education influences how we experience pleasure by providing knowledge about anatomy, consent, and safe practices. It favors open communication, taboo-free exploration, and understanding the connection between physical and emotional aspects. It is completely normal to have sexual fantasies. They are thoughts or images that provoke excitement and are a natural part of human sexual life. Fantasies can vary and do not necessarily translate into actions. The key is for them to be consensual and respectful in the context of intimate relationships. Dominance positions. There are women who enjoy taking on a dominant role in sexual activity, preferring positions that give them greater control, such as reverse cowgirl or inverted lotus. Dual stimulation positions. Some women enjoy positions that stimulate both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously, such as 69 or missionary with manual stimulation. Edible toys. Edible sex toys, such as flavored lubricants or massage oils, add a playful and sensual element to intimacy, allowing couples to explore new forms of oral pleasure. Effects on mental health. There has been debate about the potential negative effects of pornography on mental health, including addiction, erectile dysfunction, and sexual dissatisfaction. Effects on relationships. Excessive pornography consumption can have negative effects on interpersonal relationships, such as decreased sexual desire towards the partner or unrealistic comparison with pornography standards. Emotional connection. Foreplay is not just about physical pleasure, but also about creating a deeper emotional connection with the partner. Shared intimacy during foreplay can strengthen the emotional bond and increase satisfaction in the relationship. Erectile dysfunction and acupuncture. Some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for treating erectile dysfunction by improving blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety related to sexual performance. Erectile dysfunction and hormonal imbalances. Hormonal imbalances, such as low testosterone levels, can contribute to erectile dysfunction in some men. Medical evaluation and appropriate treatment can help address these hormonal issues. Erectile dysfunction and physical exercise. Regular exercise can improve cardiovascular health and reduce the risk of erectile dysfunction by promoting healthy blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Erectile dysfunction and quality of life. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a man's quality of life, affecting self-esteem, relationships, and emotional well-being. It is important to seek medical help if experiencing persistent erection problems. Erectile dysfunction and smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the penis, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction in smokers. Ethical production of pornography. Some companies and producers of pornography have adopted ethical practices, such as informed consent, respect for labor rights, and diversity of representation in response to concerns about exploitation and ethics in the industry. Experimentation with sex toys. Foreplay is an ideal time to introduce sex toys into intimacy. Vibrators, massagers, and other toys can add variety and additional stimulation to the sexual experience. Exploration of new roles. Foreplay may involve the exploration of new sexual roles and power dynamics, allowing women to experience different aspects of their sexuality and erotic expression. Famous personalities and brands. Some celebrities and personalities have ventured into the world of sex toys, launching their own product lines or collaborating with renowned brands to create exclusive designs. Female domination fetishism. Some men experience sexual arousal by being dominated by women, a phenomenon known as femdom. This can include activities such as humiliation, bondage, and foot worship. Feminist pornography. A feminist pornography movement has emerged, 
seeking to create content that represents female sexuality in a more realistic and empowered way, challenging established gender norms in the industry. Food fetishes. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their intimate encounters, such as using chocolate, strawberries, or whipped cream during foreplay. Foreplay. During pregnancy, foreplay can be especially beneficial during pregnancy, as it can help relieve stress, improve blood circulation, and strengthen the emotional bond between partners, even when sexual relations may change due to physical discomfort. G-spot stimulation. Certain sexual positions, like the coital alignment technique, CAT, are known for their ability to stimulate the G-spot, a highly sensitive area inside the vagina, which can lead to intense orgasms for some women. Glasses fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards the use of glasses, whether on themselves or their partner, finding glasses aesthetically appealing or associating glasses with intelligence and sexual attractiveness. Guided meditation. Guided meditation can be an effective technique to induce a state of deep relaxation during foreplay, which can increase sensory receptivity and sexual pleasure. Hair fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by touching, smelling, or playing with hair, whether it's their own or someone else's. This fetish may be related to the sensuality and femininity associated with hair. Height fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to people of certain heights, either a attraction to very tall people, giantophilia, or people of short stature, microphilia. Hormone release. During masturbation, a woman's body releases a series of hormones, including endorphins, dopamine, and oxytocin, which can improve mood and provide a sense of well-being. Impact of technology on sexuality. Technology has transformed how people interact and express their sexuality, from the use of dating apps to virtual reality and internet-connected sex toys. Impact on quality of life. Premature ejaculation can have a significant impact on men's and their partner's quality of life, affecting sexual satisfaction, self-esteem, and overall mental health. Impact on self-esteem. Frequent pornography consumption can affect people's self-esteem by setting unrealistic standards of beauty and sexual performance, which can contribute to feelings of insecurity and body dissatisfaction. Importance of consent. Like in any sexual activity, it's fundamental that masturbation be consensual and conducted in a safe and respectful manner. Everyone has the right to explore their sexuality freely and without coercion. Importance of partner support. Partner support and understanding are crucial for overcoming premature ejaculation, as open communication and a collaborative attitude can facilitate the search for and implementation of effective treatments. Importance of safe sex. Safe sex is crucial for preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. The use of condoms and other contraceptive methods is key to healthy sexuality. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.